Here we are, part 35 of my video walkthrough for Final Fantasy IV. And it's time to head back into the Sylvan Cave. And see if we can't find the path that leads to all the fancy treasure. Okay, alright, I see what I need to do. I need to head right from the staircase. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to cut out me casting float, so... Alright, Remedy 2000, Kamikaze 3000, not bad. Whoa, dude, look, even more chest, awesome. Although, some of them are already open. Why would you open some of them, but not all of them? And, we got another hidden path over here. This warp point takes us to the super chest. Every one of these is guarded by monsters, but hopefully they won't be too bad. Got some Malbros. Some dark trees. We already know the weakness of the dark trees. And yeah, the Malbros aren't too much to worry about. Ooh, I'm going all out on these guys. Yeah, unfortunately, mute does not prevent their bad breath attack. <laughs> I guess it's a special skill, but whatever. Well, Sea Soul does pretty good damage, I have to admit. So does Edge. Alright, Giga Rage. Titan's one of my favorite summons. It's got a good does good damage for its cost, so. Oh, look at that. I killed them all. Rosa and her brokenly powerful arrows. <laughs> Ooh, Cecil, 94 life. Alright. Yeah, one problem with them floating is you don't see them bend over when they're hurt, so. And we get the full moon bo boomerang. Awesome. Um, I think it's the same power as a Kotetsu. Yeah. So, let's put that in this offhand. But at least it is a projectile type weapon. Cool, cool. Alright, moving on. We have mm, four Malbros. Well, this seems like more summoning fun to me. Don't want this battle to take three years or anything. Yeah, I tried to save a bunch of uh, Rivia's MP so I could just cast Titan on every one of these chest fights. Uh, it's so cheap, but oh well. Whatever. Awesome! It's just so much power. Just gotta love it. Alright! Rivia learned her first level 3 spell. And we get the Avenger Sword. Wow. Man, she's got a lot of spells to go. Alright, well you can't use a shield when I'm using the def Avenger Sword. Let's so see, it drops into 52. Although it does give you a defense bonus, so his defense ends up being about the same. But and you notice it does lower his attack power. It's a two-handed sword. But while you have it equipped, you are always berserk. So he actually ends up doing more damage. On top of the crack fast attack speed because you're not having to input a command for him. Oh man, yeah, he just one shot at that thing. Oh, well, I guess so did Kane. <laughs> that wasn't a chest boss fight. Good gravy. Anyway, um, the top three chests here all have six ghosts. Uh, which kind of suck trying to fight them, but oh well. Am I muting them? I hmm. wonder why I didn't mini them. But yeah, Titan's definitely the way to go on these guys. I think they absorb fire damage, and we don't have any kind of a holy summon, so... <laughs> Cecil will take them all out, though. Man. It does do a lot of damage, you have to admit. Almost 2,000 on attack. Alright. Giga Rage! Uh, 
No, I almost killed all of them. There we go. And we get a lit storm. Not anything particularly fancy. I think I decided to take Cecil's sword off just so I could save myself a little bit of trouble. But yeah, I'm not going to use those attack items on anything, so I might as well use them to help clear out the chest to get more worthless attack items that I'm not going to use. Alright! I figured the overall pace of the fight would go faster if everyone was just defending. Come on, Rosa. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I want to do something useful! I know. Why does Rydia get all the fun? Yay! I just like watching all six of them die at the same time. It humors me. It pleases me! Alright, one more that we gotta suffer through and I'll be done. <laughs> Alright, Rosa. No, oh, no, I guess I'm still not gonna have you do anything useful. More Titan action! Yeah, why does Rydia always go last? She's the one I need to go first. It'd be nice if I could just skip people's turns, but anyway. Let's show off the Blizzard item! Ooh, fancy! And this chest has an inferno, which these guys absorb fire, so it doesn't help. <laughs> Yay! Ah, but anyway, we are done with here. Awesome. Now we'll have to come back later to have to do like another side quest thing, kind of finish up what's going on with Yang, but there's not much we can do about it right now, so. Let's just uh, heal up and move on uh, due to the west here. On a little island, I guess you'd say. We find the cave to the land of the summons. Figure Rydia should lead the way this time. And yes, don't forget to float everyone. I passed here when I left the land of summons. Maybe we should go ask Leviathan for help. Alright, sounds like a plan. And this is one of my favorite dungeons. I really love the transparency effect that you can like see the floors below and oh, it's so cool. And we got some new enemies here. Um, I think the enemies around here are easier to kill, really, than uh, the ones in the Sylvan Cave. Um, yeah, Edge did so much damage because of the Full Moon Boomerang. It's a projectile attack. Those guys are floating, so there we go. Red Eyes are pretty easy. And the only thing you really gotta worry about is the little imp-like looking dudes, especially if you're using the Avenger Sword. And here's our friend the Conjurer. Guess what he does? <laughs> Yes, he summons monsters, which, uh, yeah, Arachnids are pretty easy to dispose of. Ooh, 4,000 from Kane. Boy, howdy. And, yep, they're casters, so. Pretty easy on our part there. High potion. Come on, I know there's some good stuff in here somewhere. Ah, it's a hooligan! Oh, whoa. I guess I forgot to equip Cecil with his Avenger back. <laughs> uh. Too easy. Wow, another fight. Alright, yeah, you actually get to see what these little girls here do. They cast Giga Rage. But it doesn't matter because we're all floating. We're like completely immune to any damage they could do to us. Alright, a cabin. Those are pretty decent. Come on, I want some good treasure. Where's the good treasure? I know there's a passage around here somewhere. Okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta go back up. And then go through the wall. There we go. 
High Potion, a Venomax, and a Kukichi. I think that's what that was. This would also be known as the Ninja Sword. Yeah, Kiku... Kikuichi? But yeah, we got an upgrade for Edge there. Uh, the Venomax is another two-handed weapon. Um, I like the Avenger Sword better than for Cecil, and if I was... I think the Light Sword may actually do more damage than the Venomax, so... Yeah, not too worried about it. It's good 